Hi, my name is Dr. Kirk Ramsey with Neogen. Today on Cattle Intel, we're going to talk about selecting needles for synchronization protocols. Synchronization protocols always require a hormone injection. And there are a few really important factors that we have to remember when approaching hormone injections in cattle. All hormone injections of prostaglandin analogs have to be given in the muscle. If those injections fail to get in the muscle, they're definitely not gonna be as effective and they're probably gonna to lead to synchronization failure. This means that depending on the animal's size, needle length and gauge are really important. Probably the best rule of thumb is just to stick with a one and a half inch needle for intramuscular injections of hormones. Gauge of the needle is a little bit less critical, but the longer the needle, the more likely they are to bend or break, making these injections dangerous to the injector as well as the animal. For most cattle injections, you should probably stick with an 18 gauge or often a 16 gauge is preferred. When giving these injections, always follow beef quality assurance guidelines for injection sites. This means that the injections are best given in the muscles of the neck. Last, remember, hormones associated with cattle synchronization can be very dangerous. It's good practice not to handle these hormones if you are pregnant or may be pregnant. And always wear gloves and protective equipment when giving these injections. Hopefully these tips have been helpful. And if you have further questions, you can always follow up with your local veterinarian. Thanks for watching Cattle Intel by Neogen.